Welcome back into another video. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about JavaScript analysis and how can real hackers or bug bounty hunters or even pen testers try to do JavaScript analysis and find these juicy secrets or data into the JavaScript code and escalate them into real vulnerabilities. Well, if you're interested about this video, please click the like button and subscribe button. I'll let you get started. So what is actually JavaScript analysis? Well, basically JavaScript analysis is trying to get the JavaScript code from the application you are trying to test. Maybe you're doing a bug bounty or pen test into this application. So you get the JavaScript code and you try to analyze it to find some secret data or some uh, secret endpoints that can lead us into vulnerabilities. For example, we get some API keys, maybe some API requests or some API endpoints or directories that are not supposed to be seen by a normal user or even finding some parameters that can uh, allow us to scan for more XSS or maybe SQL injection or even IDORs. So this is what actually is JavaScript analysis. In the next few minutes, I'm going to be showing you how I use my tools and my techniques in order to find these uh, secrets data into this JavaScript code. So let's just take this example right here. As you can see where uh, we are in Tesla.com, we can go inspect element and go to the network tab and we're going to select GS. We're going to go back to network tab. We're going to select GS. So why we select on the GS right here, we want to say to the application or to this browser only give us or show us the JavaScript files when we load the page. For example, we go load and you can see multiple JavaScript files are being loaded. So these are the JavaScript files that are being used in real time by, by this application. So what we can do actually, we just go copy, okay, we can let the application load all the JavaScript files first. We can do like this, then we're going to do copy uh, all listed URL and we go to our node and we try to paste this right here and we try to visit one by one. For example, if we go back right here and we try to open this file, we're going to go open this file right here. We're going to open it and see that we're having all this JavaScript file. So if we're having this JavaScript file, what we can actually do is not organized. You cannot actually read or understand this messy JavaScript. So we can do just copy this code right here and go to D4GS or any JavaScript beautifier online. But this is, uh, I think that's the best one right here. We go paste uh, our JavaScript code and you can see this JavaScript is more organized so we can uh, analyze it for, we can now, copy the file and go back into our code editor and try to paste this code right here. So now what we will do is try to look for some keywords. For example, we go control F and try to look for something like key. For example, you can see right here, price key, or we can look for a key equal or pre key equal, or we can do some axis. We can do access, we can look for something like token, you can look for something like AWS, we can look for something like admin or password, for example, etc. So there is multiple or so many words that you can look for into the JavaScript. I have some the GitHub repo you can use. It's the Hackser. Okay, I can go like this. Hackser DZ, we can go into this uh, GitHub. You can find this repo right here. It has multiple uh, re regular expression that you can use. For example, it will be looking for access key, access token, admin pass or admin user or key or API key, etc. So we're going to copy this thing right here. We're going to do copy. You can see it's go, it's saying open dev tools, go network tab, etc. So we're going to go back into our uh, JavaScript. We can go back right here. Okay, I want to look for uh, this thing right here. We're gonna come back and click enter. As you can see, it will be looking or giving us some keywords that are exist into all these JavaScript. So we don't have to go all to, uh, to these JavaScript files. We can just put this regular expression right here and you can see it's saying config, configurable, etc. And you can also do your uh, testing. For example, we can look for word key and click enter as you can see the word key exists on all 
these things right here. And before we go ahead and finish this video, I want to talk about this website, which is lureyou.shop, which is a bug bounty and ethical hacking hub when you can learn about ethical hacking and bug bounty plus a 24 7 chat support, as you can see right here. Bug bounty course plus a 24 7 chat support. When you can learn ethical hacking and bug bounty plus, you can ask any question or any confusion or any misunderstandings you have, and I will personally come and answer all your questions. As you can see right here, we have a one-on-one -on -one private coaching program when I will teach you personally about ethical hacking and bug bounty by practice. We're going to go into live hacking session and teach you on real world example by going into real websites and try to teach you by practice because learning by practice is the best way to learn anything. Well, if you're interested, there is a link on the description. You can click it to know more about. But me personally, when I try to look for uh, these uh, JavaScript secrets or JavaScript juicy parameters and functionalities. Uh, what I actually mostly look for is try to look for some JavaScript functionalities. For example, one of the JavaScript functionalities I look for is Einer HTML. For example, if you click Einer HTML, you can see multiple Einer HTML into this uh, these files right here. You can see Einer HTML, Einer HTML. Why I look for Einer HTML? Well. If you go back and try to do some simple application, if you go back, okay, we're going to delete this code right here. As you can see, we're having a normal application. We're linking this index.js into this application. As you can see, document.get element by ID minor HTML input. So if the user input is being used into the inner HTML, that can lead us into an XSS and this can be a huge security risk. For example, if we try to save this, I'm going to open this file right here. We do a copy path and we're going to go back right here and try to open it. So as you can see, it's asking for our name. You can see what is your name. It will ask for our name and save it on a variable called EMP. Then it's doing document got elements by ID, Zach, which is the ID of the H1. Then it's try to do enter HTML equal EMP, which is our variable right here. So it's taking the user input variable, for example, right here, the EMP, and try to uh, embed it or try to do iron HTML into the page. So let's just test, for example, if we do Alex, you can see Alex is being reflected. So what we can actually do is try to do, for example, an XSS payload. We do source.x on error confirm one and we click OK, you can see that our XSS payload is being reflected into this application. That's why I need, I love to uh, look for these JavaScript functionalities into uh, the JavaScript code. And you can also do automation, as I told you before, for example, we're having all these JavaScript files. We can do like this. We can uh, do copy URLs, copy all URLs and do like this. Okay. We can do copy all listed URLs and put them in our code. And we're going to try to scan for these Java, uh, for all these JavaScript files. For example, right here, we can do something like this. We try to get some API path. We can do control. Uh, for example, API, you can see that we're having right here a subdomain that cannot be listed. Maybe if you're doing subdomain enumeration, th that subdomain right here cannot be visible in these subdomain enumeration tool. But if you try to do some JavaScript analysis, you can find the subdomain is being uh, uh, available into the JavaScript code. As you can see tesla.com price gateway. And we can also try to get more paths. For example, we try tesla.com for example you can see this subdomain right here or this subdomain or this subdomain right here and there is also multiple other subdomains like this one or this one right here so you can find more subdomains and you can find also paths for example we go api and we can go for example like this 
and you can see you can do a calm pass from here you can see we're having this api uh, request or this api endpoint you can see tesla.com geocity etc so that's the point of doing javascript analysis but what i love to do is try to automate all these processes that i showed you right now you can also uh, i forget about this you can also look for parameters for example uh, parameters you need to be looking for some xss for example action right here you can look for for example this region parameter that you cannot get into the the java the normal application when you try to visit it you can get it from the javascript code you can this you can get multiple for example right here you can get these parameters for scanning some xss or maybe a nido or sqli so there is an application that i built it's called uh, javascript security analyzer you can find it on my github this application it will automate all the process or all what i've just said on this video and do it automatically so i don't miss anything that i've said right now so it will uh, scan multiple urls or you can upload the javascript urls and it will scan it for you for example i have a javascript uh vulnerable for example i have a javascript vulnerable file if you go test dot gs we click enter you can see if you open this file right here you can see that this file already have some keys we have api keys aws keys username and password let's see if this tool actually detects this thing if we go analyze you can see we have eight api keys we have aws key we have google api key etc get how personal etc if you go back into uh, parameters it will list all the parameters that we may can test for an xss you can see parameter app app uh, key you can see right here login email you can see download file for example equal dot file that we can maybe look for some past traversal through this uh, parameter right here so all these parameters we got from the javascript so javascript analysis is very important step if you're trying to do uh, some pen test or bug bounty into this application for example you can see we're having this parameter session we have uh, this access token parameter that we can test for more vulnerabilities like xss idor etc so as you can see right here there is also an option called xss function so xss function it will look for some patterns into the javascript code for example right here it will look for sure for inner html or outer html so you will get some parameters or some ids in order to test for um, ids in order to test for more vulnerabilities like xss etc and what you can actually do for example we're having this javascript file we can just go like this and paste it if the file was small we can just go into shangbt and ask it for example is this code vulnerable to xss and we click enter and we let this uh, ai try to analyze and tell us if this code is vulnerable as you can see right here yeah it's uh this file packed with xss spots everywhere for example it's really detected get element by id honor html as we showed in the previous example we can see that you can inject the script tag for example you can do an h1 uh, on this data it's trying to uh, input the data from the user input it's trying to get it uh, reflected into the page you can see eval user code so that's a user input you can see all these things right here so this is how you can actually try to analyze your javascript code in order to find more vulnerabilities this is the end of the video if you have any question or i have any misunderstanding you can post them on the comment section and also if you have any suggestions for the next video you can type them on the comment section thank you for watching this video and i also included the 101 coaching program and the bootcamp link on the description if you're interested go to the description click on the link to know more about this so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one